hi everyone in this video you are going to learn about the delay unit tau in the previous video i have explained about the sheet resistance rs and later we have seen the standard unit of capacitance cg i told you when you are working with mass transistors definitely there exists some delay in the operation of a transistor that means there exists a time gap between the application of input and the generation of the output so this time delay can be calculated by multiplying two factors one is the resistance and other one is the capacitance so generally time constant generally suppose if you are giving input signal like this 0 to 1 transition is occurring at 0 seconds nothing but without any delay without any delay there exists a sudden or sudden change from 0 to 1 but when you are applying this type of signal onto any electronic component like a transistorized circuit okay let us consider a transistorized circuit then this gives a delay in the output okay suppose if it is varying from 0 to 1 we can call it as this time as a rise time if it is varying from 1 to 0 we call it as 1 to 0 that is fall time okay so this type of delay is because of the existence of resistance existence of resistance and capacitance in the mass transistor circuits okay the time delay is completely because of the factor of resistance and capacitance existed in the transistor model mass transistor model so that's why delay time or tau is equal to multiplication of sheet resistance multiplication of sheet resistance into standard unit of capacitance 1 square cg 1 square cg suppose if you are taking one transistor is there that is having the internal on resistance or a sheet resistance as 1 rs into 1 square cg here 1 refers to 1 refers to what is that feature size feature size i told you already what do you mean by feature size feature size is equal to l is equal to w feature size is nothing but l equal to w so that's why z value is one here also the ratio is one so the time delay remember the time delay is nothing but tau is equal to rs into cg tau is equal to rs into one square cg this is what the time delay so delay occurs in mass transistors not only mass everywhere the delay is nothing but because of the resistance and capacitance mass transistor internal resistance and capacitance internal resistance and capacitance now let us consider a practical circuit where the input is applied and output is taken like this so here we have taken two transistors that are connected like this one transistor is like a pass transistor another transistor we are applying the input at the gate terminal now for the first transistor which is acting as a pass transistor this transistor is having a control input VDD that means the input will be transferred to the output when as this transistor is in on state but because of the delay or nothing but when this transistor is set to be in on state it is having a on resistance okay here the on resistance is calculated as 10 kilo ohms because we know RS is equal to the on resistance is calculated as R on is equal to rs into z okay z is one already we know that and rs for n channel if it is n channel we know for 5 micrometer technology by default we are taking it as 10 power 4 ohm 
per square this square this square cancelled and power form so that's why it is 10 kilo ohms so r on for n mass transistor in 5 micrometer technology we are taking it as 10 ohms so this is the resistance and whereas the gate to source internally we are having some capacitance which is a standard unit of capacitance which is existed between gate to ground which is existed between gate to ground so if you observe this type of circuit and if you draw the equivalent circuit of this one it simply has a resistor in series followed by a capacitor this resistance is having rs as a unit and this is square cg okay so if you want to measure the output from across the capacitor definitely there exists a slower responses as the capacitor does not allow any sudden changes in the voltage okay see these are the characteristics if you are changing the input from 0 to 1 suddenly at sudden change but the output will not occur sudden changes it is due to the existence of resistance and capacitance okay so the time delay is like 0 0.3 0 0.63 times vdd normally it is vdd but as uh, it is having a delay 0.3 that means 63 percent of the output will be available after a time constant of okay this is what the just model how you are having a delay in existed in the normalized circuits now let us see what is the time delay at a different uh, technologies so the time delay can be calculated for any type of technology for example for example 5 micrometer technology for example 5 micrometer technology so we know that tau is equal to 1 rs into 1 square cg that is equal to 10 power 4 into what is square cg for this and most transistor in 5 micrometer technology it is 0 0.01 picofarads that is equal to 0 0.1 nanoseconds nanoseconds this is what the time delay because of the sheet resistance are 10 power 4 ohms and a capacitance of 0 0.01 microfarad picofarads at 5 micrometer technology next for the same if you are calculating at the 2 micrometer technology that means tau is equal to 2 into 10 power 4 ohms 2 into 10 power 4 ohms into we have calculated this value already 0 0.0032 picofarads that is equal to 0 0.064 nanoseconds this is the time delay at a 2 micrometer technology suppose if you move on to the 1.2 micrometer technology which is the third type 1.2 micrometer technology what do you mean by ref technology technology refers to length of the channel so tau is equal to 2 into 10 power 4 into the capacitance value is 0 0.0023 picofarads so that is equal to 0 0.046 nanoseconds this is tau so likewise we can calculate the time delay at a different different technologies with different layers okay for it is it is for n type diffusion if you are going to calculate the p type diffusion the corresponding value should be taken and substituted here okay keeping all these apart we already know what do you mean by tau tau is nothing but on the other hand we know time tau is the time taken by the electron electron to move from 
electron to move from source to drain source to drain so that the current will move from drain to source so we already know this tau sd is equal to l square by mu vds l square by mu vds what i want to say is that we have calculated the tau value by multiplying the sheet resistance and the square cg till this part now already we have taken tau tau is nothing but the electron transit time that is equal to l square by mu vds if you substitute the values like suppose if you are taking 5 micrometer technology this l becomes 5 micrometer technology and if we have assumed any value for vds already we have a mu value standard mu value if you substitute all these together can i get the same tau value what i have got in the 5 micrometer technology let us check whether it will come or not so assume assume average vds is equal to 3 volts and l is equal to 5 micrometers then tau sd is equal to l square by mu vds and we know mu n is equal to 650 centimeter square per volt second okay that is equal to for 5 micrometer technology means 5 micrometer into 5 micrometer square divided by mu 650 into centimeter square and here it is volt second <coughs> into 3 volts so if we simplify this we will get 0 0.13 nanoseconds now let us compare whether we have got the same value or not 0 0.13 nanoseconds for 5 micrometer technology here also 0 0.1 nanoseconds at 5 micrometer technology so approximately we will get the same value that means the tau sd whatever we have discussed in the calculation of ids versus vds is equal to the tau what we are calculating in using sheet resistance and as well as square capacitance cg okay so this is what the delay unit tau thank you